channel, I Dream of Wigs. Thank you for joining me today. If you're brand new, welcome. And I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel so that you can always see the new content that I'm going to be bringing you. My name is Missy and I am with TL Wigs. Today I'm going to be showing you John Renault's Giselle in this beautiful brand new to me color of FS12 slash 24B. Hang around and we will get all into this color, how gorgeous it is, and this beautiful style. So I bought this wig from TL Wigs. Uh, TL stands for Tracy Laird. She is the owner of TL Wigs. And I wanted to throw that out there because I've had a few people on my YouTube channel ask me what the TL stands for. So it's Tracy Laird. She is the owner. So I'm going to link in the description our private Facebook group where you can just click that link. And if you're not already a member, uh, click that link, join, and that is where you're going to be buying all of your wigs right now. The website is currently under some construction, we're going to say, being built. Um, should be due any time now. But until the website is done, I want to let you know about some awesome deals that she has going on. She is offering anywhere from 33 to 40% on certain brands. Um giveaways. Um, she's given away probably three, maybe four wigs in the past uh, two months alone. She has another huge giveaway coming, which is going to be a $1,000 um, and four different gift cards of $250 each given just before Christmas for placing orders. So if you buy, let's say two wigs from her from now until she decides to do this giveaway. That's two drawings for you for um, the $250. So, like I said, right now is the time for you to get over there to our Facebook group before the website is complete so that you can take advantage of these great deals and specials that are going on. Because once the website is done, I keep stressing this, once the website is complete, she is not going to be able to offer these extra discounts anymore. And that is because she has to comply with the manufacturers. They do 30% and that's all that she will be allowed to give. Now she will have clearance sections. That's a whole different story. So let's get into this. This is, let me just start by saying, this is the prime example of not being able to get your favorite color in a wig that you really want to try because they're all sold out. So you go with something that you've never really even seen reviews done on anything. So this is cinnamon syrup. Like I said, it is also FS12. 24B. This color, when I first pulled it out of the box, I might have squealed just a little bit because when I took it out of the box, all I could see were these beautiful, just chunky highlights stuck together. I, I don't know how else to say it except stuck together. And once I took my wide tooth comb and broke that up, then it, you know, it just even more beautiful. So this FS12 is the syrup. The FS stands for fashion shades. Some people call it fashion shades or fashion syrup. I call it the fashion syrups because that's what it is. It is a syrup color. And this FS12 is a medium golden brown. So that's your base color. And with these syrups, what they do is they blend a mixture of colors on that base color and it's kind of like highlights throughout okay does that make sense so the 24 B is your um, goal is your honey blonde kind of like a, um, a butterscotch blonde and once I take it off and and really get up close you're really going to be able to see the dimension on this and just how pretty a color this really is. So I'm really glad that I tried it. Now it is not a rooted color, um, but when I look down like this, 
it does look like it has a bit of a root. So, I'm pleased with it. I like it. I was scared, you know, not ever seeing this color much on reviews. Um, I think I found one. One review that had this color, and it was just really, really quick. So, that's the lowdown on this color. It is a syrup color. And like I said, this was the result of not being able to get any color that I was familiar with. So I had to go through the choices that I was given on what was available and just pick what I thought would be closest to what I would like. So I would say if you are a brunette, like a light brown brunette wanting to transition to maybe a blonde or a bronze, that this would be the perfect color for that. That's exactly what I thought when I put this on my head. I thought, oh my goodness, how pretty is this? And why haven't I seen more of it? It is beautiful. So yes, I think that even though I typically prefer my blondes, you know, the warmer blondes, this is still a warm color. I think that this works for me and I think that it would work for a lot of others that like blondes and like I said are wanting to transition to you know a little bit a darker brown. So I'm going to go ahead and do a spin so that you can see this color and this style all the way around and then we'll get into the specs on this and the style the cap and all of that. So let me do my spin. And the back just has kind of barrel waves and it just has all kind of bounce and movement. I really love it. So I'm going to get a little bit closer now. So now let's start talking about Giselle. I have really just fallen in love with John Renault's Smart Lace. I'm just going to throw that out there. I, I think I'm hooked on John Renault's Smart Lace. This is the Smart Lace, and it does have the Temple to Temple lace front. I'm going to go ahead and get up here. And it is superb, just like all of the others. It just blends and melts right into your skin. You can't even see it. So it's part of the Smart Lace collection. And the specs on this... This front piece here is, I'm going to be honest, this is kind of giving me problems. I'm going to have to work with this a little bit. This front piece here is seven and a half inches long. Your crown to the first layer is 12 and a half. The sides are 11 and a half. See those, how they just kind of like barrel curls. I didn't do anything to this. This is just right out of the box. All I did was give it a good shake and took my wide tooth comb and kind of split up the zigzagging part on the top that it had. So, oh, the, uh, the nape is 13. Um, overall, from the crown to the tips of this, this is a long one. It is about, I measured this morning, Anywhere from, depending on how it laid, uh, 16 and a half to 18 inches long. And like I said, it is, it is on the longer side. A little bit longer than what I am actually really used to. Now, the cap. This does not have an extended nape. And my head circumference is 22 and a half inches and I think all of my other measurements are actually on the larger side too. Normally, I have not had many problems with these uh, John Renault Smart Laces lately that I've been buying, but this one that does not have the extended nape, it's a little bit tighter. I had to actually put the Velcro adjusters um, all the way to the end so that I could have a little bit more stretch. My coverage over my ears and my bio hair here is not as good either. So this is an average cap. I do believe that it will stretch some. I have already talked to another uh, lady who did a review on this and she said that it does stretch. So I'm hoping that that is the case with this one. The cap off and go ahead and show you the inside of it before I forget. And I like to turn them inside out so that you can see what's going on here. So here's your mono top. 
So if you can see my finger through here, this is all hand tied in this lace front and you're gonna be able to part this however you would like. So this is the open wefted back and sides. You have the felt lined ear tabs with bendable stays and here's your nape. You can see whenever I do this, this way, there is a lot of stretch, but this way, there's not much stretch. See that? I'm, I'm actually just like tugging. That's not a lot of stretch. So I'm, I'm going on this lady's word that it will stretch over time wearing. So I'm going to hold this up in the light so that you can see the color better because I, I was just so impressed. And in here, it actually looks a little bit darker than it actually is too. This is not a, a dark color. And then you can see the chunky highlights. I just am in awe. I love this. This may be a brand new love as far as the color goes. So I want to go outside. It's very, very cold and blustery today. I do want to take this outside and show you. Let's talk some uh, permatees though. There is... Uh, very, there's just a little bit at the nape and then I noticed whenever I first put it on this morning just right through here at the bottom of the cap toward the nape is the only amount of permatease that I can feel. The top, there's no permatease. But you can easily get some volume and some lift with some dry shampoo. Um or with your uh, wig wax, that's my favorite, to get some lift. So let me put this back on and I'll head outside really quick, hopefully, and give you a look of this one outside so you can see the pretty dimension outside. Okay guys, I thought, well, I'll just hop downstairs because I always get a little bit different lighting down here as well. And I wanted you to see in some different lighting this is downstairs in my basement, and I don't have much indoor lighting at all. So you can see really the chunky, chunky, honey blonde highlights on this warm golden brown. It is just gorgeous, I love it. And when I put this back on, this is how it fell. So I do know that the stock photo kind of shows Giselle the model it kind of has a bang unless I'm thinking of a different one but I think it's Giselle so I'm going to do a spin again just really quick don't know what it looks like back there so I will try and hop outside now okay guys so here's outside and the sun just popped out so you should be able to see this color mm, not really I need a larger tripod let's see if we can see it I don't really want to take off through the yard because it's wet and yucky. This one I have a lot of flyaways wanting to get in my face. I'm going to have to work on this one a little bit, like I said, but I can move around a little bit and see if we can see. It's just a really pretty color. So. You know, I always like my blondes and sometimes reds, but I'm here to tell you, wig colors are getting harder and harder to get our hands on now, unless they're brand new and you're the first one to nab it. So like I said, prime example of not being able to get exactly what I wanted, but I'm still happy with it. It's not too drastic and I love the change. 
So I'm going to also link in the description two of our other wig reviewers, Carol and Tanya, and I'd love it if you'd go and check out their channel as well. And like I said, thank you for joining me today. I'm a little bit swollen um, more than usual through here. I've been to the dentist this morning and uh, I'm, I'm really swollen. So like I said, thank you for joining me ladies and have a great day. If I don't do a video before next week for Thanksgiving, y'all have a great and blessed holiday. Thanks. I just realized I forgot to say anything at all about the density on this one. I think you can pretty much tell. Yeah, this is a, uh, this is just one little ponytail. This is a higher density wig. It doesn't feel heavy. It just weighs, uh, what, 4.4 ounces. Don't know if I went over that, but boy, isn't that pretty? I think I'm going to want the bang part here. I may have to do a little bit of trimming to get that.